During World War II, the U.S. Marines High Command officially enrolled these dogs into the Marine Forces of the USA and gave them the rank of Simpler Fidelis, which means always faithful. In 1943, for tracking and killing the enemy's snipers on the island of Bougainville in the Pacific Ocean, they were called the Devil Dogs. In official documents, this breed of dogs has been known for more than a century by the name of its creator, Friedrich Louis Doberman. The modern Doberman is a real aristocrat of the dog family. It is a powerful, beautiful, and elegant animal. Purebred and well-bred Doberman is a balanced, but very energetic and temperamental dog. It possesses inborn protective qualities and through proper upbringing can become a wonderful bodyguard. But for all its advantages, Doberman is not a dog for everyone. Only a well-balanced person with a strong nervous system can become a real master and guide of such a dog. He who wants to bring a Doberman pup up must first and foremost learn to control himself. A person who likes to spend his free time lying on the sofa should not own a Doberman. A Doberman needs good physical exercises and long active walks. He needs to burn out his energy in running and jumping. A Doberman is friendly towards people he knows and considers his friends. As for his master, this dog, as a rule, adores him or her. And even after a short separation, it meets him or her with joy and a smile from ear to ear. Eugene Rosenberg, a Russian dog specialist, and more so, a specialist on Doberman, states that, a Doberman is such a perfect creation of nature and man that at closer acquaintance with it, it cannot but cause a splash of emotions and enthusiasm.